there, my name is Susan Marshall and I'm your 2024 president of the California Desert Association of Realtors. I'm here today to do a board of directors recap from January through May of this year. We'll start with membership. New Realtor, MLS, and affiliate members are continuing to join CDAR. Here is an overview of the new members from January through May 31st of this year. 131 new Realtor and MLS members, 33 transferring Realtors from other associations to CDAR, 36 returning Realtors to CDAR who were previous members, 22 new and returning MLS only members, 24 new and returning affiliate members, three new commercial members, and one new appraisal member. Thank you and welcome. Since January, the Board of Directors approved the following policies. The first policy is Crisis Management and the Crisis Communication Plan. Both of these policies were approved in December of 2023, but the management plan was updated to add resources in the event of a crisis. The Crisis Management Plan is to assist with the continuation of operations of the association in the event of a major disaster affecting the association office or the area where the office is located. Next policy is a Professional Service Policy. The objective of this policy is to ensure the periodic review of professional service providers such as attorneys, accountants, auditors, and other relevant service providers to ensure their continued quality, cost effectiveness, and suitability of services rendered to the California Desert Association of Realtors. Another new policy regards the President's attendance at industry events as an annual budget of $750 is allocated for the president or their designee to attend industry events. The approved industry events include Chamber of Commerce, Women's Council of Realtors, ARA, NARAP, and NORA. We've established a cultural statement policy, and if you haven't heard it, I'm going to read it to you now. Our goal is to create a diverse, equitable, and inclusive environment where everyone feels valued, respected, and empowered. We are committed to foster a culture that celebrates diversity, dismantles systemic barriers, and promotes equal opportunity for all. The purpose is to strengthen leadership and membership participation to mirror the rich diversity and culture of our region. Another new policy is job duties for our directors. They are now tasked with serving as a board of director liaison for committees. The directors are also assigned the responsibility of hosting three to four virtual marketing meetings per year. CDAR's membership size provides us with the appointment for one of our members to serve as a director at the National Association of Realtors and we are the only Realtor Association in the Greater Palm Springs area that has afforded this amazing opportunity. CDAR's NAR Director represents the interests of the Realtor community nationwide while serving as an advocate of the policy positions developed through the California Association of Realtors. Congratulations to Scott Newton for being appointed CDAR's NAR Director for 2025-26. CDAR also appointed two NAR shadowing directors for 2024. That's Marnie Baylog and Scott Newton. The NAR shadowing directors for 2025-26 are Mike Jepson and Stefan Bouchard. Congratulations to all of you that have been appointed. Once again, CDAR supported youth of the Greater Palm Springs Coachella Valley area with scholarships for seniors attending a trade school, two-year college or four-year college university. Eleven scholarships were awarded. The students were honored at our annual scholarship breakfast held on May 16th and it was a wonderful event. The Spring Fashion Show was a huge success. The Scholarship Events Committee, led by Andy Malum, raised over $7,000 to go directly to the scholarship fund to support our Valley youth. The 2023 audit was presented to the Board of Directors by an outside auditor. CDAR goes through an audit every year from an outside audit company to ensure the operations and financials are being managed properly and in accordance with the accounting principles generally accepted by the United States. The directors voted to fund up to 13 CAR directors in 2025. The CAR state directors represent CDAR at the state level to ensure that our local interests and concerns are effectively communicated and addressed in statewide real estate policy discussions. This representation helps influence the legislation 
and regulatory decisions that impact the real estate industry and that the association members have a voice in shaping those policies that affect their business practice and private property rights. Additionally, having state directors can enhance networking opportunities and facilitate the sharing of best practice and insights between local and state levels, ultimately benefiting the association's membership. The application for 2025 CAR directors opens on June 25th. Please mark your calendar if you're interested in applying. Please call Annette Coffey if you have any questions about the required qualifications. The CDR Realtor Recognition event has been approved for November 13th from 4 to 6 p.m. Please mark your calendars and attend this wonderful event where we recognize CDAR members for their long-term membership with CDAR, starting with 20 years and every five years after that. We will also be honoring the graduates of the Leadership Academy. Over the past six years, the SPF Committee and Board of Directors have worked to modernize the organization's HVAC infrastructure. Concerted efforts have resulted in the successful replacement of all seven outdated units with more efficient alternatives, making a significant milestone in enhancing operational sustainability and comfort. The following MLS Committee recommendations were approved by the Board of Directors. The first one is to change the following labels in the MLS, master bedroom to primary bedroom, master bath to primary bath. The second one is the approval to add cabin as a new subtype. The SPF committee recommended and the board of directors approved the following financial measures. One, selling of Apple stock to stay in compliance with the investment policies. Two, moving funds to the money market account for better returns. Three, purchase of a six month CD for better returns. Number four, the 2025 CAR travel budget includes rooms at the Indian Wells meetings. Five, 2025 meals per diem from $75 to $125 per day. Six, sponsorship of a CAR housing affordability event. CDAR will be participating in the Chamber Golf Cart Parade on October 27th. CDAR became a member of the LGBTQ Plus Real Estate Alliance. The next Board of Directors meeting will be June 18th at 2 o'clock, held in person at the corporate office. And that ends our update of our Board of Directors so far this year. It's been my pleasure to be your president and we look forward to seeing you soon.